Hi, my name is Christine and I'm a voice, accent and communication coach here to answer questions that you've brought up with me. Today I'm here to answer a question around whether to rehearse or not to rehearse a presentation. So here it is. Is it important that I rehearse a presentation before I present publicly? I'm worried if I rehearse too much, I will lose my spontaneity and authenticity. It's not uncommon at all to worry that if you rehearse something, you're gonna end up losing your spontaneity or your authenticity. That's actually a worry that comes up a lot. But actually, a good rehearsal offers you just the opposite of that. Here is what I always say to people. Actors rehearse a play for three to four to six weeks so that when they perform, they look like they have never spoken these words before, that everything they're saying and thinking, they are saying and thinking in the moment, off the cuff, spontaneously. That's what a good rehearsal offers you. A good rehearsal offers you the opportunity to get your message and how you're gonna deliver it so in your bones that all you have to think about is who you're talking to while you're saying it and being responsive to them in the moment. That's the idea behind a rehearsal. If you don't rehearse, it's not as easy to stay present with who you're talking to and a lot easier to start to get worried and out of the present moment because you're worried about other stuff. Like, how was I gonna say this? Or, ooh, I didn't mean for that to come out quite the way it came out. Or, oh, when am I supposed to switch my PowerPoint slide? Or, how am I supposed to hold these notes and deal with my PowerPoint at the same time? Yada, 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 yada. <laughs> and all of that is not really helping you be your best authentic self because you're too worried and you're too nervous about how you're actually delivering what you're trying to speak much less trying to be responsive to who you're talking to. So clients often worry about this idea of over-rehearsing and that over-rehearsal leading things to feel really stiff and unspontaneous. And I have to say, I very rarely see that to be the case. I very rarely see a situation where clients rehearse so much that they become over-rehearsed. It's usually the opposite problem. It's usually that clients walk out of a situation and realize, oh, I really wish I had rehearsed more and had been more prepared for that. But of course, you know, a good rehearsal has to be structured in a way that you, that you are staying responsive, that you're not just delivering something exactly the same way no matter who you're talking to and no matter what the response is. So let me give you some tips for how you can structure a good, useful rehearsal for yourself. First of all, practice your presentation out loud exactly the way that you want to deliver it. Don't just think about this as practicing the material and getting very familiar with the material and making sure it's really in your bones, although that's very important. You're also practicing the way you're going to be communicating this message. So are you gonna be standing while you deliver it? Stand up. Are you gonna be sitting? Sit. Are you gonna be virtual? Can you have your setup as close to what it's gonna look like as possible? Or are you gonna be standing at a podium? How can, you max, how can you practice with that in mind? Are you gonna be able to hold your notes or are you gonna have a place to put them? Are you gonna have to hold a mic? Are you gonna be using a PowerPoint? These are all questions that you wanna be thinking about when you rehearse so that you can rehearse in as close to a situation as what you're gonna be communicating in as possible. And that includes vocally. Try to practice in a place where you can actually practice communicating at the volume you're gonna be communicating at so that you're not getting it into your muscle memory that when you speak these words, you whisper or mumble them, but that you're actually sharing your voice and sharing your ideas. The more you rehearse in a physical way like this, the more you're going to get the message and the way you deliver it embedded into your muscle memory. And this is particularly important when you're feeling nervous. It means that even when you're feeling nervous, your body is gonna be able to step in and help you because that's how steeped in your muscle memory your message is. Communicating a presentation is about so much more than content. It's about bringing your best self to the table and you feel your best self when you are at your most confident. Rehearsal is what helps you find that confidence. So I hope this video has given you some food for thought. If you'd like some more tips about 
rehearsing in a way that's useful to you, feel free to reach out to me for some more personalized coaching. If you have other questions, you can also reach out. My email is christine at voicewhatmatters.com. Thank you for the question and see you next time. Bye-bye.